Hello once again YouTube. This is Stop Motion Studios and yesterday was May 4th. Yesterday was National Star Wars Day. May the 4th be with you. <laughs> Obi-Wan has a lisp. Not that I'm making fun of people that do have lisps. There, I know some very cool people that do have lisps. But Obi-Wan doesn't have a lisp. But anyway, as promised, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a custom clone commando. Um, as I said in my last video. And I also gave you a sneak peek of what the finished product will look like. <coughs> um, that wasn't actually the finished product, but it was close enough. So, without further ado, let's do this. And I still haven't taken down my mock. <laughs> yeah. So, first thing you're going to need is a regular clone from either the Episode 2 sets or the recent Clone Wars sets. Either one works. Um, <coughs> next thing you need is some kind of file. I used this. This is actually my sister's file. And I hope she doesn't watch this video or she'll probably... I don't know, killing me, kill me in my sleep or something. But it has different levels of roughness, coarse grit to shape the helmet, not the nail. Medium grit to shape the helmet. So basically, you start off with the strong, keep going down in the layers, and it works great. So basically, you just take off the helmet. Don't need that anytime soon, and. <laughs> You file and 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 file until, and that takes about like five minutes of filing, and then the helmet will look something, here we go, come on, something like this. Um, <coughs> sorry, I have a cop today. The fin, as you can see, is gone. Focus, focus. It's gone. So, very nice. I really like the way these turned out. Turned out very nice. And the way this works, like, the, the smoothest things, like, kind of, they almost shine it. Like, it's not exactly as shiny as it used to be before, but it still looks pretty nice. Um, well, since you filed it, it's not going to be as shiny as just that. Um, but, once you get the entire fin off, here's a tip, once you get the entire fin off, what I would do is I would start to sand the entire thing just a little bit so that it all looks the same instead of there just being a strip down the center of the helmet that's all rough and weird. You want the entire top to be the same, like, texture, kind of, so that's what I did, and it worked great. <coughs> and plus, it isn't even that bad because it's shiny. It's not like this is rough or anything. It's not rough. It's pretty smooth, so... That's what I'd recommend doing. I'd re I definitely recommend getting one of these files. I have no idea how much it costs, but it couldn't have been too bad. Um, so yeah, don't need this guy. He's he's gone. Tower of shame. Um, so, and then what most people will do that don't have the means to make decals, they'll just go like this, put some stuff on their clone, stick the helmet on. It's commando. Maybe if we feel like it, we can even just stick these things that if you've seen my clone walker battle pack video this will take a long time for me to get on but I'm doing it anyway come on I made it and hey just for funsies I'm torturing you guys <laughs> ah, made it yay we have a commando he's so cool he's so cool and then all of a sudden, a real commando comes in. Hey, punk. This is what I would call a real commando. Although, I'm probably going to be using this kind of commando early on in my videos, and then their armor is going to upgrade to this. Um, it's going to be like part of the storyline. That's the only reason I have them like this, and they're all not like that and cool. Um, so, now, Tower of Shame. So now, I'm going to show you all how to 
make your clone commando look like this. Now, don't be deceived, this is not the final product. These are not decals. These are actually just paper stickers stuck on a clone. <laughs> That's total crap. But it still gets the job done and it looks good for this video, for this review video. So basically, I have some more supply stuff over here that I'll... Dang it! Alright, sorry, my battery died. <laughs> so, where was I? Tower of Shame, that stuff, they're not real decals, they're paper stickers. And, although they do look, they do look okay, I would still prefer the decals. <coughs> the decal process is much longer than the paper stickers. For the paper stickers, all you need to do is get this paper... Well, here. Actually, the first thing you need to do is I don't have a computer with me right now, but you just go to Google, type in Lego Clone Commando decals, find a picture you like, drag it into some kind of word processing document, print it off a couple of times on regular paper, just so you get the size right. Um, print it off on the sticker paper next. This is... Here, this is what you do. It's just stickers. It's just that label paper. That's what it is. And I just printed it off onto that, cut off the ones that weren't chopped in half by the perforations on the stickers, and stuck them on him, and he's going to be used during this review. Now, the decal process is much longer and more tedious. You print that off on decal paper instead of this, spray it with an acrylic sealant thing, let it dry, spray it again just for the fun of it, let it dry, cut them out, put them in water, let the decal slide off, thus the name water slide decals and stick them on there and it looks way better and then you spray the whole figure with the seal and stuff to make them stay so but you're gonna have to take off the regular printing of the actual Lego with some kind of polish or something like Brasso yes I stole all of that from Lego boys video if you want to see all of that in an actual review video where I learned it from go to Lego boy fan and he has a video on it, and it's pretty good. That's how I learned how to do it, so. Um, <clears throat> so, but here's for you people that are, that don't have the means to get the decals and you just want to do the stickers. Basically, I just did that, stuck them on, and yes, it looks pretty good. He's even got arm decals. Hello. Yep. And legs. More arms. There's the torso. There's the helmet. He has lines on his helmet. I made him a little backpack attached with this thing. This back is actually part of a sticker too, but I'm, there's nothing really that special about it. It's pretty much just like a regular clone back. Um, by the way, I did not make these. <sighs> these are not my decals slash stickers. Someone else made them online, but the website that they're on is like, I don't know, down or something so I couldn't figure out who actually made them but <coughs> it was not me I'm not trying to steal anyone's decals um, I do not deserve credit for making these awesome decals because they are pretty good but I don't have the technology to make them I do have the technology to print them off and put them on the figure but not to actually create them so kudos to whoever made these decals it wasn't me I wish it was so that basically wraps it up for this video he doesn't get put on the Tower of Shame, he gets put on the Bridge of Epicness because he's cooler than the other two. So, so yeah. But then there's nothing here for me to record. <laughs> so, and also, if you really want to go hardcore over the top, get him a little arm shop weapon, the DC-17 Blaster. It looks so cool and it's actually very accurate to the Clone Commandos, what they used. So. Um, www.thelittlearmshop.com Yes, it's awesome. <coughs> Man, I keep coughing. I'm probably going to do that someday. So, anyway, like I said before, these guys are going to... He fell off the Tower of Shame. These guys are going to be the commandos in my early videos, and then sometime they're going to upgrade their armor to this in, in the video series. I still have to come up with a good squad name and good commando names, so... If anyone wants to message me or post a comment, do that with some good commando names that you think would be cool. Because one of them is going to be the leader, the other one's going to be like the heavy weapons specialist, a sniper, small arm slash 
melee combat specialist hand to hand so there's going to be four different kinds of clones in this squad and yeah it should be a pretty sweet series I'm excited so stop motion studios wasn't any actual stop motion but it's still cool because <laughs> now you know how to make a clone commando um see you guys on Tuesday um that's yeah may the fourth be with you